Hi, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to set up a spreadsheet for your library budget um, using Microsoft Excel. And the version I have here is the 2007 Office version, so hopefully that's uh, what you're using. It's uh, quite simple to use Excel. It takes uh, a little bit of practice, but once you get it done, it sure does, uh, I find, once you have this, this spreadsheet set up and you learn a few of the functions, it goes really quite smoothly. So what you're going to do is decide how you want your spreadsheet to look and what you want to um, be your columns. And I'm just going to use um, the, I guess, the spreadsheet sort of idea that comes from our Saskatoon Public School Division, um, their school library information portal. And it sets it up this way. And the first column that they recommend is detail, followed by date, followed by amount, and then followed by your balance. And it's quite simple, and you can adjust the size of these columns by just uh, scrolling left to right or whichever you, so if you want the balance to be larger, although you wouldn't want that unless you're working with a lot of money, um, the amount, the date, you might want, you know, a little bit more space here, and you'll probably want quite a bit more for the detail. So basically those are, are the basic columns you'll want. And you can format those however you want, if you want those colored headings and so forth. So what you're going to do next is just to, to set it up quite simply by just saying, okay, well, this is my um, opening balance. Um, and I'm in Saskatoon, we only really, for most of our budgets, we get a one amount entered throughout the, through, at the start of the school year. So you won't need to be um, adding anything for these unless you're using something like that. Unless you get money throughout the year. But for me, I, we just usually get the budget once a year. So. Uh, the date, so today let's say that that's the date on the date And then what we will do is to say that the amount that went in, well let's just start with the balance of say $5,000. Uh, from there, what we're going to do is, let's say I purchased some books at Amazon, and I purchased those on March the 4th, and those books cost, uh, let's say $426. All right. Now that's not going to do anything at this point, but what I will do is I'll set up a function so that these will automatically subtract. So when you do that, then the most important thing to start with is just an equal sign. So you're going to assign this cell a particular value saying that this cell is equal to, and it's going to be equal to the column above, which is B2. And so that's the balance beforehand, and then you're going to subtract the, the amount that you're producing. And that's quite simple. You'll just hit enter, and automatically that will start to add now, um, or to subtract. Right. So once you have that function in place, you can just click and drag it for the rest of your spreadsheet as many as you think you would need throughout the year. And then you would just continue on. It's always going to keep it up to date. So let's say I go to purchase um, some more books from our ULS supplier, and that's our big order. And let's say that I purchased those in April, and that that is going to be say. $1,687.54 or something. So then automatically it's going to be added and that up. And then I went and I bought some that multicultural resources that I put at Gabrielle Dumont. And those I purchased on um, Meta. And let's say that those resources cost $525.15. And so forth. And so those will automatically keep. Um, subtracting for you. Now, one thing that's good about this too is this: this is ULS something. You know, you're just anticipating your budget, and all of a sudden, some orders don't. Some of your order doesn't arrive. You can just change that. So all of a sudden, if it wasn't fifteen eighty seven fifty four, uh, it was fourteen twenty six seventy eight. That will automatically adjust everything for you, and you won't have to do that again. Um, if you want to set up a separate sheet. For your other budget, budget, so you might want to do so your print budget here, your non-print budget here. Um, your you can do a separate budget for periodicals and so forth. And you, you would just set those all up the same, and that's really all there is to it. So hopefully that just helps you to get started. It's a fun thing to learn, and if you're ever having um, questions with the formulas and you're not sure, you can always go into the function, and it'll tell you, oh, I want to know the average or the sum. If you want to be adding that up, and it will help you figure out how to adjust it. Alright, so good luck. I hope that helps.